Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today this is going to be a very very good series of a tower defense game and this is part one so if you haven't now if you don't know what a tower defense game is tower defense game is basically um, a strategy game where you place towers and the towers shoot the enemies that's going and the aim of the game is actually beating the game so yeah let's make it so first things first we'll delete the scratch cut we will draw um, a sprite We'll draw the enemy first. I'd like to make the enemy green. And the outline, I'd make it dark green. Seven. Hold shift to make a perfect circle. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, so we'll call this enemies. And in the stage, I'd like to draw a grassy background. Okay. This will darken. Okay, so follow me here. We want a line and we'll outline it with a brown colour. Okay, now I would love to make a line here and end it right here. We'll select it. We will use this for shape tool, and you can click this, and we can make a nice path for the enemies. And just to make it bigger, okay. I'll take ninety. So now we will make it. Don't know how to make it, just follow me. This okay. make it curly, curly to make it easy for the enemies to make well. Okay, that's a nice pass. Now we'll select it, we'll copy it. And we'll duplicate this, we'll paste it, and we'll make the colour white. And I'll just make the outline to be 40. We'll call this line. So this sprite is... Uh, the center of the enemy. Okay. So now let's code. So in the enemies, one green flag clicked. You will hide the original sprite forever. Um, we'll actually repeat. Can create clone of myself. We'll wait one second. So in here, when I start as a clone, I'll start it right here. Ok, 
okay go to the x and y position point in direction 90 will show and forever we'll make a block named we'll make a block named movement one without screen refresh click ok movement there and I'll, I'll actually edit it we'll add an input named speed ok now and the, I'll type in here 2 Now, we will switch costume, and actually, I will make two more costumes, which is going to be the detectors. Okay, zoom in, and just follow me, make a red box right on top of here and we'll copy that and in here make this one blue okay now we'll duplicate that so in this costume we'll delete this we'll delete the blue one and in this costume, we'll do this, we'll do the red one. And in here, we'll do both of these. So in the costume one, we'll call this red detector. This one here, blue detector. And this one here, we'll call this normal because it's the normal enemy. Now, switch costume to the vector. And actually, we'll move speed steps. And if touching line, red detector is touching line, then we will turn left speed times two degrees and we'll duplicate this blue detector. If touching line, we'll turn right speed times two degrees. And then um, we will put in an if more than if x position more than 239, then we'll delete this curve. And here we'll set rotation style to all around. Also here, we'll switch costume to normal. Now I'll put it there. Now let's take a look. See what happens. Oh, and uh, I forgot. In here, we'll put in one green star click. We'll set ghost effect to 100. Let's look at it. You can see the enemies going nice. It's a pretty good start for our tutorial. Yeah, this is this is what we want. Okay, and if it touches, yeah, and it deleted the code. So thank you for watching for part one. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next part of this series. Bye. I'm scratch on, guys.